What's happening, Booth Junkies? Mike Delgadio here, back with another video. It, during my Reaper for VoiceOver presets number two video, when I was talking about file management and strategies for managing your Reaper files on disk, I alluded to the fact that I use an if this, then that recipe to help me manage my uh, final renders. The strategy that I'm talking about is I'm a big believer in backups and I'm a big believer of keeping multiple copies of your files, especially your final versions that the customer sees. They may want it again. Uh, they may need you to provide it to, the, to them again. I've had customers come back to me months later asking for a file because they've lost it. And so you always want to make sure that you have your files at your fingertips. And so one of the things that I do is I have my final renders uh, render to a folder called VO renders, voiceover renders. And that folder is in my Dropbox. So as soon as I put a render out on disk, as soon as I make a final version, uh, the computer automatically makes my first copy to Dropbox. Uh, and that way I've got a backup of it. I've got another copy out in the cloud. That's mine. But if I accidentally delete it on disk, and it gets deleted from the Dropbox sort of by proxy, I only have like 30 days to get it back in case I've like bricked or forgot or, or something like that. So for my final renders, I make a second copy to my SoundCloud account. And the way I do that, I'll show you right here. So if we look at the screen here, you can see that my setup uh, for the render screen is it ends up in a directory called VO renders. And so if we look at that directory on disk, we can see all of the different final renders that I've made. And this is what my directory currently looks at. This is my 2016 renders directory. Uh, and so this is where my files have been rendered. Now, those files, if we go back and look at uh, my if this then that recipe, I have connected my Dropbox folder, that VO renders folder, and I have it automatically make a copy up to my SoundCloud account. And that's a recipe that's built into, into If This Then That. If you have Dropbox and SoundCloud, which for a voice actor who's distributing files, it's a, it's a good idea to have that. Um, it will automatically, if a new file shows up in your VO renders, then upload a private track to, yours, to my SoundCloud account. And it automatically gets the URL and the tags and all the descriptions that I've specified. And you can go through the recipe to set up ones for yourself. And what those do is those end up as files that are in my SoundCloud account. So now I can always get them back. They're redundant into a separate, uh, separate place. They're private by default, so only I can see them. Makes it real easy for me to share it, embed it, send it out to a message, and I can get at that file very easily. So it's a great strategy. For me anyway, it's been a great strategy to be able to instantly deliver to a client using SoundCloud um, I can instantly deliver via Dropbox. I can always get back and I really am at very low risk of losing a final render because I can always download this final render again and get it back. So it's something, to wor it's something worth thinking about. It's something worth giving a try to have a strategy to make um, copies, especially of your final work, making a copy that you can get at quickly. You know where it is and you know that it's in a safe, safe spot. I hope this helps. Now, get in your booth and record something amazing.